Cardiobites. What are the current guidelines for the use of sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors in heart failure? The current U.S. guidelines for the management of heart failure are the 2022 American College of Cardiology, the American Heart Association, and the Heart Failure Society of America Guideline for the Management of Heart Failure. Since their publication, two consensus statements have been published, which may provide additional information. The 2022 guidelines include recommendations for guideline-directed medical therapy, or GDMT, using four classes of medications. These are renin-angiotensin system inhibitors, evidence-based beta blockers, mineralocorticoid inhibitors, and sodium glucose co-transport 2 inhibitors, or SGLT2I. SGLT2 inhibitors reduce the risk of recurrent hospitalization, improve heart failure symptoms, and reduce severe mortality due to heart failure. The recommendations for these medications are SGLT2 inhibitors should be used to prevent hospitalizations for heart failure in patients with type 2 diabetes and either established cardiovascular disease or who have a high cardiovascular risk. For patients with symptomatic chronic heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, the guidelines recommend the use of SGLT2 inhibitors to reduce hospitalization for heart failure and cardiovascular mortality whether they have type 2 diabetes or not. SGLT2 inhibitors can be beneficial in decreasing heart failure hospitalizations and cardiovascular mortality in patients with heart failure and mildly reduced ejection fraction, which is defined as a left ventricular ejection fraction of 41 to 49%. SGLT2 inhibitors can be beneficial in decreasing heart failure hospitalizations and cardiovascular mortality in patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. SGLT2 inhibitors are recommended for the management of hyperglycemia and to reduce heart failure-related morbidity and mortality in patients with type 2 diabetes and heart failure. SGLT2 inhibitors should not be used in women with heart failure or cardiomyopathy who are pregnant or currently planning for pregnancy due to the risk of fetal harm. In summary, heart failure is the leading cause of hospitalization and mortality. SGLT2 inhibitors have demonstrated clinical benefits and are recommended by current guidelines for patients with heart failure. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of CardiBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Lexicon Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. I'm Vicki Grew, a clinical pharmacist at University of Illinois, Chicago. Please complete this short survey to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.